Alright, what's up everybody? This is a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3 uh, comparison. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into separate sections, separate videos of different uh, categories, and then I'm going to splice all those together into one big video. So you'll have the individual videos and also one big video when I'm done. So, uh, if the commentary is kind of, um, screwed up when it's joined together, then you'll know why, because I'm going to have it in separate categories as well. So, this category, we're going to be talking about the, sh the shell, pretty much, of the PlayStations. And what I mean by shell is just kind of the features on the outside of both of the PlayStations. Um, so what I've noticed is like, PS4 is really lacking on uh, features that kind of did away with a lot of things, and they kind of changed a lot of things, and you know, some are good, some are bad, so I'm not bashing anything or trolling anything, I'm just simply telling you the features that are different, and from that point on, you the user can decide what you like and what you don't like. So, I, you know, I, I make a lot of these reviews and a lot of people just don't get it. <laughs> they just take it as whining, but it's not whining, it's a comparison video. Alright, so, first thing we'll talk about, uh, let's talk about USB ports. Now, obviously, this is the older PS3 model. It's the 60 gigabyte, and the newer PS3 models are actually the Slims now. Turn on some extra light here. That's a little bit better. So we will get to the USB cables. All right, and of course the 60 gigabytes you have four USB ports. One, two, three, four. But the newer PS3 nows only have two ports. Uh, let me show you an adapter you can actually buy. This is a USB port adapter. If you only have two two USB ports, these are really awesome. You plug this into the USB port, and then it turns into four ports. So, um, USB port wise, PS3 has, the older ones have four, the newer Slims have two, and the PS4 has two right there in the front. Uh, now, the difference between both of them having two is the cable. Uh, the PS4 has a, a slim USB port, and PS3 has the traditional older USB port. So, let's put these together. You can actually see the size is a little bit different. Um, the thin one, this one is more commonly used in uh, cell phones now. So you can usually actually take your cell phone charger um, USB cable and use it on your PS4 if you need to. So that's the difference between the USB. Um, some other features. Now, uh, 60 gigabyte, of course, had a lot more features than the newer PS3s. So the 60 gigabyte had a CF um, slot, SD card slot, and I don't remember what, what that slot was for, but I never use it, so it's really not important. Anyways, they don't have this in the newer PS3s anymore, so just get rid of that. Um, we'll go to the power on and eject. No, it takes Blu-rays. They both take Blu-rays. Um, eject and power is basically the same for both the PS3 and PS4. It's touch activated. So you just touch that and it'll eject it. Uh, touch that, that'll turn the power on. Hold it down. Um, and so on, so. PS4, uh, same basic same thing. 
Here's the eject right here. You run your finger over it, it ejects the disc. Power, same thing. You uh, run your finger over that, it turns the power on. Disc comes out here, Blu-ray. Same thing, disc comes out here. Um, the only really difference about the shell uh, to really actually talk about now is the power cord and actually the back. So we'll just go through the power cord real quick. PS4 power cord. It's, an, it's a newer power cord. PS3 actually used the computer style power cord. As you can see, it's the three prong. Pulls kind of a lot of power. So you can actually take your uh, computer power plug if you need one and hook it into this. But the PS4 has a new power plug. As you can see, it's two prong. So it seems like a PS4 doesn't take up as much power as the PS3 because PS3 has a lot more uh, stuff inside of it. So you can also sit both of the consoles up. Excuse me if the uh, camera is kind of going all over the place. I'm trying to move these and talk and shoot it at the same time, but they can both stand in the air. Actually, we'll talk about venting too. You got the venting here, a lot of slots there. Got some venting here, venting here. Venting in the back here. PS4 has venting, but uh, a lot smaller actually. As you can see, they have the little holes down here on the side. Uh, I believe the front doesn't have venting, but the other side has the same as this side. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to talk about is the back of these. So you see the. Uh, let me set the camera down for a second, and then I'll set these up. Alright, so I was actually kind of surprised the difference between PS4 and PS3 in the back because they uh, removed a few things that they shouldn't have removed. First thing that I don't think they should have removed, um, PS3 has a cutoff power. Uh, so this is like kind of like the main circuit breaker for PS3. You shut that off and that'll completely shut the power off, which is really good for a lot of things. If you notice, PS4 doesn't have one of those switches. I'm uh, not really sure why they removed it, but it actually helped me a lot having this button because let's say I want to take the PS4 controller and plug it into the PS3. Um, before the PS3 uh, knows that it's going to be used on that device, when you hit the power button on the controller, sometimes it'll turn the PS4 back on. Um, when I want to use it for the PS3. So then I have to go uh, reconnect the controller to PS4 through the cable and everything, then switch the channel on the TV, and then power off the PS4 again after it boots up, and then put it back on the PS3. So that's kind of annoying with um, this button being gone. Now... Another thing they removed on PS4 is uh, the multi-out cable. Now usually most people use HDMI out. Um, in the multi-out, what that was, was it had the RCA cables. Now, um, some people don't know this, but you could use the, actually the HDMI and the multi-out at the same time for surround sound. So you could use HDMI for your video, but you could uh, plug the multi out into your RCA surround sound and then use that for your sound. 
So you could use that for your sound stereo system if you have an older one, which I do. Um, I have an older uh, surround sound that is still in good working order. It's it's pretty old. It's like 10 years old, but I took really good care of it, so there's no reason to junk it for something new if it still works great. So as you can see, PS4, they got rid of that, um, which really kind of sucks. Don't like that at all. Here is the HDMI. Here is, you can tell the this is the power cord. You can see how different it is. Come to think of it, I, this might be the same as the um, PS2 cord. Looks pretty similar. I'll have to check that out later. I think that's how the PS2 cord looked. As you can see, PS3 cord. The traditional computer prong type of power. Um, PS3 digital out optical. And PS4. Sorry, this isn't focusing too well. I think that's the digital out optical. Yeah, it is. Digital out optical, um, HDMI. And then you have your internet there. And then this is actually something new, I think. You have your uh, aux input right there. As you can see, PS3 has HDMI, your internet, uh, optical. Optical, that's for um, surround sound. So the difference really here is uh, PS3 has the multi-out with the RCA cables and PS4 has the aux. So that's the difference in the shells of these two. Uh, also hard drive. You could change the hard drive on your PS3 through taking this lid off and you could just pull it out without uh, voiding your warranty. PS4, I actually haven't even looked to see where the hard drive is yet. I actually don't even know how you change it yet. I haven't gone dissecting it yet. So that's one info that I really don't know. Also the only glossy part of the system is this little strip here. The old PS3's, this was all gloss. I just put one of these stickers on there. As you can see my other, um, my uh, 40 gigabyte PS3 also has one of those stickers on it. But yeah, that's the difference in the two shells here. Changed a little bit up. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Oh, also the hard drive size. PS4 comes with 500 gigabyte. This is the old PS3, so this was 60 gigabyte. But now, um, PS3 Slims come anywhere from uh, was it 12 or 14 gigs, or 250 or 500 gigs. So PS3 up their gigs a lot. PS4, uh, they all come in 500 right now. And both have Blu-ray drives, but the PS4, the game installs off the Blu-ray drive into the PS3. So it takes up about 5 to... 30 gigabytes up to 100 gigabytes it'll take off the drive and put inside here so that kind of eats up a lot of memory fast but we'll get into all that shit later